Bob, what are we doing today, buddy? Man, I'm feeling a little frisky. How about, uh, how about some metal core work and a groove? 1G? Bitch, please. I'll go 2G. Nah, I'll bet you lunch. Bring it. All right, let's do it. Let's do see it. it. All right, folks, you heard him. He chirped again. I'm feeling hungry, so I want a little free lunch out of this guy. Bob, so, I have, all I ran it was on 7525 1G. You done all your stuff flat? Yes, sir. It'll run It'll run horizontal. I've, I've actually even done some overhead fillets, if you can believe that. So this is uh, Select Arc 70C Metal Core, 92.8. I'm going to go 27 and a half volts, 450 on the wire feed speed. My attempt here is just going to do a single fill pass. I'd like to do a two bead cap, but I might have to run a three because I'm not recognizing this bevel angle. It looks a little more than 30 to me. So, you know, I'll recognize it. And as a bonus, how about we cut and etch a, a couple of samples here? All right, I'll do the cutting and you the etching. All righty, All right. let's do it. Hey Mike, I've got some coupons that I played around with here and I went ahead and did the hardwire route. So we're gonna, we're gonna like spray this in here single fill pass. You know that J move I was showing you on that aluminum when we were doing the overhead spool work? Yeah, I can do it. The J move? Well, I'm gonna use it right here. <laughs> what do you think of that? All right, go use it, because I right. can't do it. Well, strap in, cupcake. Let's right. do this. You know, as we're doing this, subtle J, because I like to fill this top side a little more than the bottom. I want that shelf so I can set my first pass on it. And I don't want a deep V groove up here at the top. Right. I just want it to go, you know, otherwise I'm carrying a bunch of metal and that's where I might get undercut. That's kind of way I've done them before. So very subtle J, just kind of slight pause at the top. You know, you know, the J move. Yeah, I see. The it. signature. I see. <laughs> All righty, let's buff this rascal out. All right, we did a little light buff here. I missed this on the start of it, but when I got into my pattern and got comfortable, I tried to slightly overfill this top, leave the bead profile in there where it's flat, but I wanted this shelf in here because I intend on running the wire like right here, and I'll be watching the bottom of this to make sure it's melted out and I get some reinforcement started. Again, I haven't decided whether I'm going three bead. I'd like to do two bead because, I mean, it's, should be able to do it. Uh, anyway, we'll pull the trigger and do a fill pass in here. All right. How's that? How's that free lunch feeling right about now? Are you are you getting close to realizing that we run metal core and? I'm, I'm basically on? realizing that uh -huh. I gotta get my wallet out and pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Mm -mm. Got a little crater at the end, kind of unavoidable. I need a runoff tab or something, but I'm watching this crown along the bottom and I'm trying to fill it quite a bit. Because again, I'm attempting to go to a, a two bead cap. So I want to use this part of the bead and I've got to get all the way up to the top. Very slight, I don't know if you were watching that, but it was like a very slight pause in order to make this thing build the way Kind of wanted. I wasn't using big motion. I wasn't whipping and dodging and bucking and weaving. I was just kind of yeah, nice and tight. You're doing little tick tock. Yeah, tick -tock. little tick tock. So anyway, I, hopefully we've got a profile in here. I'm pretty sure I can get to it with a, a two bead without having to cut it and go to three bead. I want to buff this off, clean it up a little bit so I can see this top edge real well. What are you thinking? You want to buy me for lunch? Arby's. 
That's fine. I can work with it. You want a Reuben? Cuban? Uh, Reuben sounds some good. Curly fries with yeah. some mango tea or something? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good, dude. I am hungry. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but you know a lot of these hot processes, I try to go a couple of degrees forward. But this one here on this last pass, I kind of I went in straight, kind of changed it up just a little bit, just a hint of drag angle in there, because I'm trying to avoid any kind of undercut on top. Again, we went to this two bead thing, so very slight technique of just a, a pause here. I wasn't doing the big rocking motion or weaving, stepping, bobbing, and all that stuff. All right, Cub, you chirped. I delivered. I think there's a lunch involved here. Go get my lunch. All right, I'll go and get I'll, your mocha. I'll have this cut and etched while you get back. We'll show some samples. All right. It'll be nice and tight. Yeah. All right. Appreciate you. You learn anything? Of course I did. You know I did too. Hopefully the viewers did. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Cub's gonna go buy lunch. I still don't think you can run that overhead. Next week. All right. It's on.